Hi everyone, it's Lillian here from Stamper's Niche and I am just hopping on impromptu here because I had something I wanted to share with you. I've had several customers lately um, say, how come my stamps aren't getting clean? So I thought I'd do a little troubleshooting here and share the possible reasons with you. So let me just make a little click here. So let's take a stamp. So this is from the Soft Seedlings, and let's ink it up. And we've stamped with it. Now we want to clean it. Now Stamping Up has two different ways you can clean your stamps. One is the Stampin' Scrub. So that's this here, and it's got these nice little um, rough surfaces, but they're soft enough to clean stamps. And you spray it with the Stampin' Mist and let's let's clean it that way now this one has been well used i've had been using it a lot so we're just going to make it moist on the wet side i sometimes have trouble so i often will put wet in permanent marker on this side but it rubs off so here's my dirty stamp i'm going to put it here i'm just going to wiggle it back and forth and so it's looking pretty clean. This is the drying side. I'm putting it over here and drying it. So it should be clean. Now if I put it down, look at it is still dirty. How come it didn't come clean? Well, the key reason is because this is dirty. I have cleaned so many stamps in it that it's dirty. So there, how do what you clean it? There are a couple of ways. You can, as is, run it under the tap. I like to take it out, and that's why there's these little dips here, the, the little cross section, and I just get something that's going to go under, and I take both of them out, actually, like that. I run it under the tap until the water runs clear. You can work a little dishwashing soap in it if you like. I tend not to. Whoops, there's even a little extra there. Um, I just tend to use warm water and scrub it a bit with my fingers until the water's running clean. And you, because that was so dirty, I know it's going to come out really dark at first. Once it's clean, I squish out the extra water and then I put it upright in a dish drying rack. I do both of them while I'm doing it and let it dry. You can blot it with a towel if you're hurry, in a hurry to use it again. Um, so that is how you can clean this one. The other, so okay, I'm going to move this out of the way here and bring in our other cleaning tool and that is our chamois. Now our chamois, you just wet it with water and wring it out and let's bring in this from the Mistletoe Magic. We'll ink that up just like that. Now how do we clean it in here? You press down and lift up and it should be coming pretty clean. You can rub a little bit. I cut my chamois in half just because when I'm using it with my Stamparatus, I like to um, have it a little smaller. And there we go, it's clean. Now, if it's not stamping clean, this one is, because these are clean, even though they don't look like it. If it's not stamping clean, it means you need to go to the sink and rinse these out and wash them out too. So let's um, take a look to see where do we find these cleaning tools. So basically, if your stamps are not coming clean in the cleaning tools, they need washing. That's all. The cleaning tools, that is, not the stamps. So where do you find things to clean your stamps with? On page 149 in our annual catalog, you will find that. This here is called the Stampin' Scrub. And um, so that is the one that looked like this. And it closes up flat. I have another one here because when I have classes I use them but so it closes up nice and flat like that doesn't take up much space and then you can open it up on your desk and they last for a long long well for years and years and years and years so there's the stamp and scrub the stamp and mist is what I like to use in the stamp and scrub I have an older bottle here and that is because it not only 
cleans your stamps, it reconditions them. So all of that is found here. And then the chamois is here. And you might say, well, that isn't in a case. I actually bought some of the clear mount cases and I just keep mine in there. And so it keeps it all nice and um, moist and it keeps the mess all in one place. And those cases are right here. So when you order those, you get actually four cases in a package. And I, you've seen me use that for those for embellishments and all kinds of things. So here's an interesting little page for you particularly if you're looking at how to clean your stamps. There's the, um, whew, now I'm blanking out. It's the Stampin' Scrub, the Stampin' Mist, or the Simply Chamois. So once again, if your stamps are not coming clean, give your stamp cleaning stuff a little rinse off. So there's just a quick little thing that I wanted to share with you today. I hope you're having some creative fun somewhere along the way, and take care. Bye-bye.